Hey guys, it's Todd here, and we are going to, if you've seen the previous video of the unboxing of the ATI 5870, now this is, we're actually going to install the 5870 within the Mac Pro. And so basically, I'm going to walk through the process and show you how to do it, and hopefully, I've never done this before, I've never installed a graphics card into the Mac Pro, the only upgrades I've done, if you've seen previously, is put a, a hard drive, and I've put in memory in the computer. I actually now have 8 gigs, or 6 gigs of RAM in the computer. I would like to get more than that, but for right now, this is work. So basically all you do is you come back here, lift up this, pull down this thing, and voila, that's all you have to do to get into the machine. And as you can see, it's a little bit dusty. I need to get in here and blow it out with some uh, canned air. It gets very dusty. But as you can see, here's the old uh, ATI. I believe this is the 5770. Or I could be wrong, or 5750, I think. I don't know, these damn numbers that get you all screwy. So basically, it looks like I just unplugged this power cable here, like so, and then we have to unscrew. I might have to get a screwdriver for this. Let's see. Yes, I have to get a screwdriver. So, well, pause the video. Now, time for intermission. <laughs> And we're back from intermission. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, so basically we need to get the screwdriver here and hopefully this thing will work and I'm guessing I might have to have a special one here. Crap. Yes. Looks like you have to have the star here. Well, let me... Okay, we're back guys. Basically what you need to do you get a screwdriver. Uh, I recommend they re Apple actually rec recommends a Phillips number one screwdriver. So keep that in mind. To get you need to get these uh, screws here that hold the graphics card in place. Loosen up. Mine were a little tight um, to get out of there. So make sure you have a Phillips number one. Is what Apple recommends. So I'm gonna get these screws out here. And it looks like. What they do is they just pop out. You actually don't unscrew them all the way, as you can see. These are kind of like spring-loaded. Very nice, so you don't drop the screw like you do in most cases. So basically what we're going to do is get out, and also, right here in the newer Mac Pros, there's this little gray thing with a button. And all you do is you slide this forward like that to the left, and then it will show you what slots are available where you can put the sled here from the graphics card. Right now I got it in slot one. It was standard from what Apple shipped my Mac Pro. So basically what we're gonna do here is remove, I don't know how this comes out. It's my first time ever doing it. So, it, oh, this pops right out. So, oh, got it stuck here, here we go. And here's the old ATI 5770. I believe this is the 5770. So as you guys can see, the difference with these two cards, huge difference. One, this one's the 5870 is just a hell of a lot bigger. Hold on, let me position this here so you guys can see. This is the one that came with my Mac, the 5770. And then here's the new card. So as you can see, way bigger. Now what we need to do is not break it. All right, so basically now we're gonna take this card and we're gonna put it into the Mac Pro here. I think um, it comes with two cables here that you either plug in. I think a good tip will be to plug this in first within here into the back. There's two plugs back here because I think it would be very difficult to plug this in when the card's sitting in there. Get your If you have big hands like me, to get your hands back there. So what I'm gonna do is plug these power cords in here and this does look like it's going to be a little tricky. So that's why I recommend you do this first. So the card, you know, it's not hard to get in there with your hands. Now I believe this uses both of them. 
the fifty the fifty seven seventy card only had one, but this one has two slots here. So I'm thinking it's going to need both slots from the motherboard. This one's a little bit being a pain in the butt here. So I could totally see if you did not um, put these in first, if you put the card in first and then put these on, these would totally be a pain in the ass because this is, yeah, this is definitely really hard to get in here. Okay, success. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Um, you just got to plug those two in. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to slot this in. That in there. Make sure we're in the middle board here. Just getting all this stuff lined up. And I have put video cards in other computers before, and yes, Apple does make it a little bit simpler uh, with their design to get stuff in here. It's just right now it's, it's lining up these uh, slot on the motherboard here. It's really hard to see. But I mean it really is guys. It really is easy to get in and out of this uh, this computer. It's it's very well set up. As you can see here's the hard, a hard drive bay. I took it out just to get more room. But I mean to as you've seen in a previous video to install hard drives in this is, is a piece of cake. Um, this is a little bit tougher just because I can't see the other end here and this is a very big card so it really does make it a little bit difficult there we go there we go and it just pops right in place yep You'll hear it pop right in place. Now what we do is plug in these little cables here. And hopefully we have a success. There we go guys. And I have to put this back on here. Hopefully this won't be as tough. The thing about, um, I think this goes this way. The thing about Apple and uh, Steve Jobs <clears throat> is a big thing with Steve Jobs. I've been reading the Steve Jobs biography. Is um, he, you know. Everything on the outside looks great from a, a, an Apple machine, but also it's the things that are inside as well. The, the, the attention to detail that Apple puts in their products, you know, with the packaging and just everything, the innards. Um, it might not make a lot of sense to most people. They're like, wow, who cares about what the inside of your computer looks? But it's, it's things like this when you're doing upgrades that makes life just so much simpler. I mean, it, that took me very, I mean, since it was my first time going through it, I was a little more cautious. You know, I don't want to ruin anything. And I just want to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. And, but as you can see, it just pop, everything just pops in place and makes it that much simpler. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the installation of the 5870 into the Mac Pro. Here's the older car, the 5770, I believe. Um, yeah, so let me fire this bad boy up and make sure everything works.